Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new survival let's play video on my realm. And basically today, I didn't really know what to do in this episode. I want I've started sort of like setting out where I want the decorations on the inside of the house. Um, but I just figured I'd kind of show off what I did outside of episodes. So. I made some penguins at the front of the house. I don't know whether they're going to be staying, but I do definitely want a penguin somewhere. I also finished off the house. The roof is now finished, but so we can head in through here. And I've just realised I can't hear any sounds whatsoever. So where is the music? There it is. Okay. The music was off. I did not know that, but we will find out now. There we go. That's better. <laughs> uh, we do need to quickly sleep too. So I'll show you what I have done. I've decided this is going to be my bedroom. You probably saw on the ceiling there is now sea lanterns there. So I just figured that kind of lights it up a bit because it was pretty much pitch black in here. So I just added those up there. I also moved all the animals in here. So we've got my horse here. We've got lightning there. And we've got all the animals from the zoo looking thing <laughs> back at where the modern house is. And then this is going to be the kitchen. This is going to be a table. There's going to be a chair there, 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 and there. And then this is going to be sort of like a countertop, maybe like a fridge and whatever. And then there's going to be a chair here, there, and there. So that's going to look pretty cool. In here, I'm not quite sure what I want to do yet. I'm thinking about maybe having a shelf here with like a wither skull and then all the other skulls and things like that just on a shelf. I'm not quite sure quite yet though, but in here I have set out. I'm not quite sure whether I'm going to have a TV in here or not because I do want to kind of keep this medieval themed but at the same time have a few things that would be in a normal modern home. But yeah, so we're going to have a sofa looking thing here, one of the bigger blocky more looking ones where it's wool here and then slabs there. Here, we're going to have it so that it's all like stairs, and then we're going to have some banners there as pillows. And then here, we're just going to have like a little table looking thing, <laughs> little coffee table. So that's all I really needed to show about the house. We also have the mailbox. I showed you guys that in the last episode. But I don't know if I showed this off last episode or not, but I do now have a fedora. And honestly, I actually think it looks really cool. It definitely looks better than the goggles. So I think that's going to be staying on this skin. I've also been working on a human skin, which is now in my channel art. Um, so yes, but basically we have got some replies. So Shadow's not the best typer, so he didn't reply a book because his game was really laggy. So we have got, um, Wally's book in my hand right now, and then this is Emir's book. So we are going to start off reading Wally's book. I have already read both of these, but we're going to read it anyway on camera. So it says, hi Rebel, I got your letter and I'm definitely interested in creating a town. So that's really good. Also, I just want to ask, where will I build my town and how big can I make it? I don't plan on making my town huge, but I don't want to build it bigger than I'm supposed to. Also, I'm putting a proper mailbox outside my house. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that house, but I'll keep it for now anyway. Um, no, keep it for now, yeah. I, I can't read today. <laughs> anyway, you know where I am if you need to contact me. Kind regards, Wally, and then P.S. I'm a unicorn, K by XD. I, I didn't see that part, so thank you for telling me you're, you're a unicorn. Yeah. <laughs> so um, let's get into Emma's book, and let's get straight to the point. OMG, yes! But not enemies, just friends, kawaii face. Okay, sounds good. Sounds really good. <laughs> so, um, yes, we're going to have a town over there, and then Wally's obviously going to have a town. I have already spoke to her, so we're going to go put these books away somewhere. We don't actually have any chests in here, so I might come out here and take some chests or make some new ones. Um, we don't actually have any. We've also got the coins that I need to put into the bank, and I have built that. We just need to build the inside at some point, so I'll show you guys that in a second. A lot has changed at spawn, and I will show you what I mean by that. Um, but yes, um, so that is what we're going to do, and um, I have already told Wally that basically it could be as big and or as small as she likes, and I don't know why I keep going into the mailbox, but that's fine. So yeah, I did tell her it can be as big and as as or uh, blah blah blah. I, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I might as well just say random words. But like I was saying, I told her it can be as big and or as small sh as she would like it to be. So I have just asked her what kind of biome she wants to be living. She hasn't really got back to me on that, so I'm waiting for her to say that so I can find a nice place for her to build her town. 
Uh, but the sounds of it, we're all going to be like friendly towns, I guess, and things like that. So we're going to be building those soon. Um, I'm not quite sure whether I'm going to build a wall or even houses around here, but I think a wall would look pretty nice. I'm not quite sure whether I'm going to go with that or not. I think I'm going to be working on spawn for now, but that's why, yeah, that's why I'm going to be showing off this episode. So we're going to head over here. I do think I still need to gather, well, bring some stuff back from over there. We need to bring Ian from over there as well as Mr. Water Gollum. We also then need to bring Sam and Silly over too. So we need to do that at some point. I'll probably do that off camera because they are nuisances and I don't even know if that, is that how what you'd say nuisances or is it a nu they're nuisance? No, I'm pretty sure one is a nuisance and then they're nuisances. I, I don't know. I don't know. My I I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. This looks pretty cool because it's like you can't really see the water. It's quite cool. No, never mind. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm getting off track, so we're going to head to spawn. I'll show you guys what I've done, what's basically been updated, because pretty much a lot has changed. Um, I was talking to Shadow the other day as well. He's not quite sure whether he wants to be living at this house either, because he said it was quite laggy, so he doesn't really want to live here. But we'll find out soon. Um, we still need to move the pig from over there. But the thing is, we need to name the other one so I can tell them apart first. Because the pig that's in there currently is the annoying pig that was just showing up randomly last episode. Um, also, I'm not quite sure how many up episodes I'm going to be uploading. We're probably going to gather some stuff in this episode for the next episode. Because basically, I think... It depends on what I decide to do. I'll probably decide after this episode too. I'm recording this on Friday. And this will probably be going up today too. As well as another video. It depends on if I'm deciding on that. Because I don't normally upload on Friday. But I decided I'd upload today. So this is probably going up today. As well as another video that will be going up today. And probably the first thing you have noticed is when we come out of here... There's a hill here, and there's also a lever there. I'll show you guys what that does in a minute. But yes, so basically, where you probably recognize this place as where my house used to be. But now, I have just changed it so that it is just a mountain now. So, I don't know what it is with the chunks being glitchy, but they're just being really glitchy. But yeah, so now there is a mountain here, and we can head down here. I don't really want to but this is the bank so if we go around this side and we can actually eat quickly this is where you spawn you spawn on this penguin face and um the dog house is under here so i do need to sort that out at some point but you spawn on this giant penguin face i've just been working on that i'm probably going to change it at some point but i'll do for now i also need to move this path but this is the realm bank so you saw the realm coins earlier i need to be i need to ma make some bank machines and things like that in here as well as fill the windows in with glass so we need to set the floor too at some point we'll do that in an episode i don't know when but we will at some point so this is just what it looks like i tried to stick to the medieval theme it looks i must admit i would have liked it to look a bit better but it does look as good as you're going to get, really. There's still a bit of decoration I need to do. Like, I just realised this needs to go up like that on there. But it hasn't. I don't know if I've done that on the other side as well, have I? Yes, I've done it on this side, so I just need to copy it over to the other side. But that's fine. Um, I completely forgot why I came over here. No, I showed off the bank, so that's what I had to do. Um, I'm also going to show off how you get under here. So we got some just random chests here, just full of random stuff. That's where I put all the books. I crafted a load more because that needed to be done. So if we flip this lever, you probably heard those pistons, but probably not because the sound is a bit weird on the recording. But if you head down here, it leads to the underground where my house used to be. So I have lit this all up with just some random sea lanterns, just because I don't want mobs spawning under here. Even though we are on easy, so you'd still get hunger. But we are also kind of like on peaceful at the same time like mobs don't spawn so it's pretty cool but we do need to move all this stuff i have taken down all of that over there but we've got the doggy den down here and we need to move the dogs and the cats and they all want my food and you can't have it so i'm just gonna eat some in front of you um but yeah so we do need to move those at some point it's kind of difficult because i don't want to put them through the nether portal because if not 
because if I put them through the nether portal, it's going to be kind of weird. And I just realized I need to get over there, so that's fine. We can jump on that boat and then just walk. Because it's faster to walk in water um, than it is to walk on land, which is kind of weird. It's definitely something I don't think I'd ever say. But it's more like you have a swiftness potion in the water. Um, what did I need to get? Oh yeah, I need to get some stuff for my house. So we've got some food there. We've got some more sunflowers there, but that's fine. We can do something with those at some point. Um, what do I need for my living room? Okay, I need some wool. And the wool is over here, I believe. In this chest. Okay, what colour sofa would we like? Um, we've got another axe there. I think that's the one. Yes, the one with silk touch. Um, I don't know why it has silk touch. I just found it and then, well, I just found it in that chest for some reason. Someone's put it in there, but I don't know who. Um, I think we might have a blue sofa with quartz slabs. So, how much blue wool do we need? I don't know. So, we're gonna, we're just gonna put one there. Um, actually, no, we're not. We're not going to do that. We're going to keep that on us and then just put one there like that. Um, do we need any more wool for anything? I'm just trying to think. Um, we need some banners, but I don't know where those are. Um, trying to think, what did I do with all the stuff from my house? I believe they're up there. <laughs> um, I think I can ender pearl up there. So if we just end a pulse, I think it's raining too. Ow, I hit my head, but that's fine. Yeah, it's raining on top. And it actually sounds really nice. It sounds like rain in real life, which is really nice. I like that. And I forgot to press shift. Okay. Or don't know how to end a pearl. Okay, that's very good. <laughs> now I'm going to shift and go all the way to the edge and open that. That is not where they are. What about in here? Um, no. So this one? I don't know. Where Where are all the... I don't know where all the banners are. Um, am I being blind and just can't see them? I don't think so. Um, no. Um, no. Not in there. They're not in there. And they're not in there. Um... I have no clue what's going on. But we can just make some more banners anyway. Is there any white wool in here? No, but there's snow. Um, any white wool in here? No white wool. Any white wool in here? No white wool. Okay. So also, if you're wondering what all these enchanted books are, they're mending books. I managed to get those off the villager before I actually died, so... That's pretty cool. You actually craft, yeah, I thought you crafted banners, like signs, so that's two. So how many do we need? I don't actually know how many we need, so I'm just going to grab, how many? I suppose I can grab ten, maybe. Um, will ten be enough? Ten should be enough, I think. If not, we can craft some more at my house anyway. Um, and I had nowhere near enough sticks. Um, any wood? Any wood? Yes, there's wood here. Okay, cool. So if we craft this into sticks, like this, and then we can turn the rest into banners, like that, and then we can grab the wool from one of these chests. Which one was it? It was this one. There we go. Um, we just checked that I don't need anything else, so we'll probably be doing the living room in the next episode, which will probably be coming out today. Or do I want blue and purple with the purple? Because I really like the look of the purple slabs. I don't know about you. Um, yeah, I think I might do that. I think I might do that with the purple, the blue and purple with the purple. Or should I do green and purple? I am trying to, I don't, no, nah, I'll stick to the blue and purple. I can't hear the rain now, but, oh no, wait, yeah, never mind, I can. Um, head up here, where's the white wall? Here it is. Um, we're going to grab all of this. Um, that's how much I had, and it made ten. So, we'll grab a bit more this time. That'll do. Um... Okay, that's good. Um, we'll head back to the house and start working on... Although we do still need some quartz. So where's all that quartz at? I'm pretty sure my brother used it all on his house. Um, 
We also need to move all these chests at some point. I'm not quite sure when, but we do need to. Um, I have no clue where they... Oh, we'll just have a oak wood coffee table. We've got some oak wood slabs at home anyway, so we could just head over here. Jump, jump, jump. And I've missed that one, but that's fine. Um, so yes, we do need to move the dogs at some point. It's just kind of difficult. Um, so, you know... And then we could just head up here. It's definitely raining though, and it's probably night time also. But there's nothing wrong with a bit of rain. We could just close this off and then go back into the nether. And then we can sleep at the house anyway. Um, so, yes. I also want to know what you guys thought of the season premiere of um, Crafting Dead Season 3. That started off alright, I guess. I kind of just went through the island, so I had a look around, you know, got used to it. So, just tell me what you guys thought of that, so we just need to head through this portal anyway, so it's pretty simple. But yeah, I honestly, I'm really having fun with Crafting Dead. It's just a shame, well, it's not a shame that it's the, the most popular series on my channel, because it's really cool, it's made my channel go up big time. I mean, I've literally go, I'm literally going up one sub every two days, which is really cool. So, it's just a shame that this series doesn't get as much views as the other series for the simple fact of or this series doesn't get as much views as Crafting Dead does because honestly I have more fun recording this series than I do recording Crafting Dead for the simple fact of they're both really fun to do but with this I have more freedom and I don't have to I struggle to stick the blah, blah 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 I don't know what's going on with my words today but I struggle to stick to a script, and I'm getting close to 20 minutes, so I'm going to end it once I've talked to you guys. But yeah, I struggle to stick to a script, which is why I'd rather not write down what I have to say in an episode, and just go free roaming. Um, because I kind of mess up on my words too when I don't have a script, but... I honestly prefer to do that than to be a little bit nervous because if you could tell in my voice in the role plays, you probably can't. But it, I get really nervous because although I'm recording it, it kind of feels like I'm doing like a play or something in front of people. So I honestly, it just feels weird to me that I'm reading straight from a script. But um, this series is definitely like free talking. I don't have a script or anything for this series. And I really like it that way. So uh, that's all I really needed to say. And in the next episode, we will be working on the house a bit more. Decorating. Decorating? Decorating. <laughs> but anyways, guys, if you have enjoyed this episode, make sure you stick around for the next one, which will be out again today. And I will see you all in the next one. <laughs> Goodbye.